Welcome friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman, and today I want to talk about antivirus software, free antivirus software specifically, right? So what kind of options do we have? So let's go ahead and go to Google and just type in free antivirus software, right? See what kind of options we have. Well, you will certainly get all kinds of different options, anything between AVG, um, Avast, Avira, and you know a few other ones, Panda, Zone Alarm, these are all pretty decent antivirus softwares. And there's nothing wrong with them per se, with the exception of few things that are related to the free factor, right? So let's say you do, for example, and let me pull up this here real quick. Let's say you do, for example, decide to go with Avira, right? You go with Avira, you install it, and after 30 days, you will get pop-up that constantly will be asking you to purchase it, right? So it's not, it is free, but you will get these annoyances, right? And this is not the only case, this is not just the case with Avira software, but also other free software, uh, free antivirus software, uh, because they only, they're only free to a point where they try to lure you in and also give you quite a few limitations on the on what you can use you know and i find that very um intrusive right i i don't like when i'm constantly bugged reminded of you know you know purchase this purchase this purchase this nobody really likes that right and not not to mention software like avira even avg to a point um avg is a little bit better uh, but they will also be a little bit more resource intensive because of uh, specifically because they're constantly going to uh, take up your resources in order to you know sell you their product you know what I mean but I have come across a really good uh, free antivirus software that I still use right and it's called Immunet and of course you know obviously I'm not you know getting paid to do it you know say this or anything like that this is just something this is this is just something i've been using for a long time and it's very very low uh, resource intensive meaning it's not gonna take up a lot of cpu power you don't even notice it it connects to a cloud um, to get its uh, information as you can see here there are 33 million um, threats that are that immunet knows about and it connects to a cloud in order to get this information and it's very um it works real time every time you you know for example download something it's going to automatically scan it anytime you try to install something it's going to automatically you know scan it and and protect you in a way where you don't even notice it and this is the reason why i personally recommend this one right and again th there may not be anything wrong with you know avira avg avast or anything like that but you know for me personally um i want you know a decent antivirus protection that is free that's not going to take up any of well not any but it's going to take very minimal uh power away from my computer in order to do these scans right and like like i said again immunet and you know just like most of the other ones will do real time scanning which is great, but Immunet is, in my opinion, the best at it. So let's go ahead and install it so I can show you exactly what I mean and not just talk about it, right? So I went ahead and went to Immunet.com and clicked on download Immunet 5. So I'm just going to go ahead and click. Um, I usually like to save things. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to view downloads because this is a good way, especially for somebody who's new to computers, to kind of figure out where does... You know where does my downloaded file go to you know so this way you'll know exactly where it went to if you want to know the exact folder you know I you know you can click on downloads and here's your folder downloads folder you know and as you guys know um, a lot of my PC tutorial videos are uh, specifically tailored so they're easy to understand whether you're advanced or brand new at this I always go at a certain pace and I explain things in a certain manner so it's easy to follow easy to understand just because a lot of my uh, uh just because i really want to and also a lot of my viewers are from foreign countries so i like to make a point of 
making sure I take my time when it comes to explaining this, not simply to fill in time, but to make sure it's easy to understand. Anyway, so here's our um, little file here, application that we can run. So let's go ahead and double click it. And now it's asking us whether we want to run it. This is very typical. You want to go ahead and say yes, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this Internet Explorer here. And uh, I'm going to put this to a side here. And uh, you know what? Let's just close this here so that there's no confusion here. So once you launch this, you get this, you know, you know, pop up. And as you can see here, it's a very, very uh, resource uh, friendly, right? It only, it's only it's only 52, 52 megabytes to install, right? And that's incredibly small for any type of software nowadays, right? And you can leave this on if you want to participate. And I recommend that you do leave this on to basically, you know, as it says here, suspit, uh, submit suspicious files for analysis, right? Basically, you contribute to this uh, hive on, on the cloud um, that, you know, basically contribute into preventing, um, you know, infections of the, you know, viruses, right? So you can leave this as it is and just go ahead and click install. Um, of course, you could have changed the folder where you want to install it, but there's really no need because since it takes up so little space and default location is perfectly fine for that. And as you can tell, I'm running this in a virtual machine, which has very limited resource to begin with. And it, as you can tell, it already finished installing, right? Now here you can initiate flash scan if you want. And again, and again it's super simple. Um, I typically don't, but let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show you that as well. But I'm just going to leave this on because I want to have, you know, a shortcut of it, right? So here we go. It's already installed, right? It's already installed. And that's pretty much it, guys. You are now protected with ImmuNet free antivirus software. You'll never, you will never get a pop up. You will never, you know, asking you to upgrade. There's no trial period, nothing like that. But you can certainly, you know, purchase, you know, a full version of it if you'd like, you know. Uh, but as it is, it's just really good, you know. Um, as you can see here, it really tells you CPU utilization here, you know. And this is just now installed. So typically you would want to like run all kinds of, you know, this is real time protection, by the way, right now. You can tell how much of memory is actually using right now. So it's only using 74 megabytes, but this typically is even lower than that. And you can see the CPU utilization is literally zero. It went up up for to like 1% just briefly, but you know, it's it, it's right now it's not, you know, doing anything because there's nothing going on. There are no files being downloaded. It's not having to scan anything like that. And when you even when you do, it's it's so unintrusive that it, it's this is main reason why I like it because I want to have full power available for my computer all the time at all times right and here you can say you can see how many threats uh, from the cloud based stats 247 million uh, uh, types of viruses you're protected from right and you can see how many people are connect currently using this software and that's um, a little bit over 42 million which will appear here in a second as you can say 42 million 76 thousand right and here it just says that you haven't run a scan and you can certainly do so now let's go ahead and pull up a task manager and just so i can show you it's um what it's doing right so let's go ahead and see immunet it's using actually 12 megabytes right here right it's only using 12 megabytes right of memory and you can see the little spike there I, I think my computer is actually trying to update um, this uh, uh, virtual machine instance that I've actually created recently but as you can tell 12 megabytes of actual physical memory used CPU zero right and that goes to show you and let's go ahead and do a scan if you if you will you know let's do a quick scan now right this will basically get rid of this. So let's do a flash scan. Let's see what kind of uh, um, CPU it takes up in order to do this. Okay. So we're running this and you can do this in the background. Um, you can just, you know, select hide 
and it's going to continue doing this and see here it says it's using 57 or, or uh, 70 to CPU utilization but it's actually not even using that much as you can see here right it's very very low you know low impact right it's actually using around as you can see it fluctuates and this is for actual scan right this is actually for a scan right but the main uh, the main uh, purpose of it is that it provides um, that it provides real-time protection um, without hogging your resources there is no doesn't bug you about anything right so you know that that to me is very 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 valuable right and it looks like it finished scanning and uh, you know everything's a-okay right all right guys I hope you like this tip this is you know, this is something I personally use. This is why I recommend it to you as well, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you like my videos, please go to facebook.com forward slash Kobuman and like my page. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.